Okay, excuse me, my camera had cut out. But your wife is out here upset because you see a queen of cups, a queen of wands, excuse me, as wish fulfillment. And so this is why she's out here doing a lot of manipulations and things like that because she wants you to see her as wish fulfillment. You all need to figure out your problems in your homes and stop taking it out on strangers. More than likely the queen of cups, queen, the, the empress that you are trying to be with don't even know you all. All you do is think about, think about that woman. Like this whole time she knew the truth. The whole time she was telling me the truth. I don't know who this is, but it's like you're finding out that the whole time, the person you rejected, the person you were trying to destroy, the person you went up against, betrayed, tried to block, knew the truth the whole time about the situation that you found yourself in. You've been trapped in some type of situation that you're finally freeing yourself from. Thank goodness. But you don't like, you guys have to accept accountability for the things you do in life. And this is something I've realized a lot of us when we are in the dark, when we don't know who we are, we're very karmic. We, our ego is out of this world. We fail to accept accountability for something. You and your friends, your families, you've invaded someone's life to the point where it does not even make sense. You're out here trying to have someone on a live. You're out here trying to have someone violated, dishonored. You're out here trying to have someone caught up in some type of legal uh, case, some type of court case that's not... It, it, it doesn't even make sense because this is what has been coming out repeatedly for the past few weeks. You're all plotting on someone to have them locked up, stuck in some type of court case, out here falsifying documents, out here accessing people's Wi-Fi, internet, phone systems, computer systems, and everything to make something go in your favor because you want to be the one to come in to save the day. What makes you think that that's how that's going to go? What makes you think that someone wants you to come in and save the day? You think they don't know. If this is a high priestess and they know the truth about who you are and what you've been doing to put endings to them, even if you're a king of pentacles, king of swords, it don't matter who you are. Whatever actions you've been taking to manipulate someone's energy, they know. So you can falsify all the documents you want. You can tell all the lies you want. You can do whatever you want. At the end of the day, you see how we started with the temperance energy? That's the universe making a bold statement, letting you know I'm in charge of it all. I'm in charge of it all, and you best believe I am illuminating everything to that empress energy so that they know what it is you're doing, what you're up to. I don't, I don't get it. It's like a middle school mindset. Like people are aging in number, but not in maturity. It's like you feel like you have some type of authority to make decisions in other people's life, but you haven't even done the work to balance yourself out. You, you're out here over indulging in witchcraft, voodoo, manipulation, and you're out here wanting to control someone's forward movement, their communications, who they can talk to, who they can see, where they can go. You don't have that authority. You're under some type of illusion trying to control a whole, like, angel, a magician. You're trying to control someone that's, like, maybe out of this world. I don't know what to tell you all. Get out of the illusion. It don't make no sense. Like someone is not just a temperance energy magician. They're also a high priestess. So what do you think you're hiding? They see the illusions before you even take, take any type of action to carry out the illusion. Someone knows that a king of pentacles is like someone, whoever you're trying to manipulate, they know you are manipulative as heck. They know it's you that's been doing everything behind the scenes. They know it's you that's been lying, smearing someone's character because you are intimidated by a feminine energy. So you're the one that's been taking initiative behind the scenes to steal from someone, block someone so that they can end a chapter because you want to have a new beginning with them. You want them to heal you, balance you out. That's not how you go about stuff. That's not how you go about it. You want someone to heal you. You want someone to help you. What happened to you just being straightforward with someone? What happened with, to you using your words? You're a man, correct? You have a misogynistic mindset that, that men are better than women. So how come you can't use that 
wear better than women, that macho-ness, and talk to the woman that you're interested in. Why be out here causing mayhem, trying to get someone caught up in a situation you know they shouldn't even be in? Like, there's a man behind the scenes. You know the truth. I'm telling you, you know the truth. But you're still trying to be out here to prove. I don't know what you're trying to prove. Because it's your ego. And we all have an ego. But there comes a point in life when you got to let go of your ego and face the truth for what it is. You're pissed off because a woman says what it is that's on her mind. A woman plays the emperor in her own life. Why don't you sit and think about why a feminine energy which decide to become an emperor in their own life. Have you ever thought maybe it's because they've been dealing with men like you, so they were left no choice but to take charge of their own life? Have you ever thought about that? Or you're just, you're just going to disregard that? You never sat and said, hmm, I wonder why their sister acts like that. I wonder why their sister does not want to be bothered with any men. I wonder why their sister keeps to herself. You ever thought it's maybe she's dealt with men like you before? You ever thought about it? Now you're out here believing that you're Billy Badass and you don't even realize you're like a wolf compared to the kind of people that woman has dealt with. Maybe that's why she doesn't even entertain you. You see her minding her business? And you all are out here doing all kind of, causing all kind of ruckus and things like that. You ever thought about that? That, hmm, I've been doing this for a long time and she's still not responding like I thought she would or I want her to. You ever thought about why that woman is not? It's because she knows. Someone has dealt with bigger demons than you. And you don't know it, but you're out here taking reckless actions to steal from someone, trick someone, betray someone. You think you're about to come into someone's energy and lay it on them thick with the lies and manipulation. You're going to come in and carry yourself as an emperor or whatever this is. Listen, you're going to have to be in your truth to come towards someone. There ain't no sneaking around, no manipulation, nothing. You, you're not going to get away with nothing. Nothing. Like a sister is going to see you right at the door. Like, oh, nope. As soon as you fix your lips to tell a lie, nope. As soon as you fix your mind to tell a lie, nope. Because she's going to see right through you. Okay? Right through you. It's, and then there's too many masculines involved too. I keep seeing a king of uh, cups that's coming out. Also, I don't know who you are, king of cups. You may want to be careful, but you got some troubles on your hand. I saw, I don't know if it was a man in a flash. That had like a black eye, like his face was all bruised up. I don't know if you told a lie to someone and it cost them a lot of money or you told a lie to someone and it cost them like their destiny or maybe their lover. Someone was supposed to get with a woman that was like wish fulfillment for them, help them heal and ascend in life and learn how to let go of anxiety, get out of their mind because this is someone that thinks a lot. Someone is stuck in their mind all the time. So the universe sent a woman in his life as a gift, but he betrayed that gift, right? For, I don't know who else, karmics, maybe someone talked him into not seeing the gift as the gift. Like there was a woman, a star seed was placed in front of a masculine. Okay. And she was supposed to help this man balance his energy out live his life in a fulfilling way, get out of these karmic contracts that he's in. And there's a king of cups. I don't know if it's her ex or someone else around him that he's familiar with. They told him a lot of lies about that woman and the woman possibly walked away from him. And now that the truth is out, he's out here pissed off. So he may end up coming for you and discoloring your face because he's pissed off. You caused him, yeah, you caused him true love is what he's saying. You caused him abundance. You caused, yeah, I'm telling you, you caused him true love, a new beginning. Now he's out in the cold, having to just simply watch her from a distance or something like that, wanting to give her a commitment of love, marriage, and, and, and something, trying to balance something out. But he got to love her in secret from a distance is what I'm hearing. Listen, and he's uh, he's afraid to even come towards this woman to give her an offer. 
but he has a lot of emotions for this woman. The King of Cups, whoever you are, if this hasn't happened already, you may want to run. You may want to hide because there's a man that's about to be real pissed off and burdened with you. You you got problems coming in. You, you best believe he knows exactly where you are. He said if he don't get his divine feminine back, you're, you're, you're behind on the line. <laughs> you better find somewhere to, to hide. He said, if I, if, yeah, he said, if I don't get her back, if I don't get her back, it's a problem. Oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. Now you're all in here trying to keep a woman stuck in. Listen, I, I'm so sick and tired of you all. I'm sick. I'm sick and tired. It, it, I don't even know who this group is. That's the thing that's been agitating me. There has to be a group. That watches platform that that watches readers consistently to keep track of some type of story that's playing out, and this is why you all keep coming up repeatedly. Okay, this woman here. There are two Queen of Pentacles. There's one from your energy, either that's a wife or mother or whoever, and then there is one that you have your eyes on that's coming out of hiding, hiding, honey. I don't know if you all expected her not to accept an offer from anyone else. That woman don't care about whatever it is you all are doing. So I don't know if you all were trying to isolate a woman so that when anybody comes towards her, that she can reject them. Trying to have her living in fear and anxiety that everybody was out to destroy her or men are the same. She don't feel that way. If, uh, if someone comes towards that woman and she uses her intuition and she decides that she wants to entertain them, she's going to accept that offer. There's nothing you can do about that. So you can keep trying to, uh, uh, I don't know, demobilize someone, or you can keep trying to keep someone stuck, restrict them. It ain't doing nothing. I think I, I used this example before, like someone can stay in like a, a community a neighborhood or like a building and you're trying to block them from leaving their proximity and the whole time their lover stays in the same building or the same community that they are in what you gonna do about that you don't have control over anybody's destiny this is what i keep trying to tell you sir you do not have control over anybody's destiny but your own i don't know when you're gonna t <sighs> i don't know when you're going to <sighs> accept their reality there's also something i'm hearing about you paying like a second or third party a third party <laughs> excuse me you didn't want that to come out you've been paying like a third party to block this woman from receiving options offers whether that's in love in business finance work you've been blocking offers from this woman so then when you come towards her and she knows all of that how do you how do you get around that you didn't think about that if this is a love story that ends up coming together it's going to be one heck of a story because this is something where you started off causing havoc in someone's life all based on a lie all based on some type of misconception. You're still out here wanting people to believe that whoever you are with or whoever you decided to go with is traditional. Baby, it's no. They are not a traditional person. They ain't traditional. So you're about to leave a relationship out in the cold. More than likely, you rushed into that relationship. That is why now you're getting out of it because there were signs and symbols and warnings that your ancestors gave you to not get married to someone. Don't get with, they even told you don't get with that person. I don't know if you went and proposed to someone. Maybe you probably possibly even had your family shocked. They said, what, what in the world? He actually proposed to her. Uh, what? So now you want to balance it out. What a queen of wands you find to be very beautiful. There's a queen of wands in your energy that's sick. Mentally sick, emotionally sick. There may be some other type of sickness she's dealing with. It's the end of the road for her. That's all I can tell you. Something is about to end really bad for a queen of wands. And this could be someone that's 
planning on going into someone's energy to fight them, girl, don't do it because you're going to be black and blue when you're leaving the scene and you can't call the police because you're the one leaving your home to go towards someone else to go fight. Nobody has time to be playing games with you. Sit your raggedy behind down and grow up. All this for a man and for money. You better be practical out here. You need to stop looking at these earth angels like they're just feeble, weak and feeble, young, naive, stupid, feeble, or whatever it is you want to call it. No, baby, it ain't that. It's two sides to all light workers you see. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's two sides. They're all modest and majestic looking, wholesome, and then you bust a move and then they return this energy. And then it leaves you what? <laughs> this is you. Trapped in your mind. Say, what the heck? What's that? I was not expecting that. No dang. You're trying to take some type of impulsive action to come towards a woman to say something to them, do something to them, to have them trapped in their mind, have them locked up so they don't receive some type of offer from a man. All this from for a man. You're insecure and immature as heck. You got to grow up. I'm telling you. It was funny before. It ain't funny now, huh? You ain't laughing. No, you didn't want to hee hee ha ha no more. It don't got serious for a group of friends out here. They were celebrating, high fiving each other, you know, like Dora the Explorer, Dora, Dora, Dora the Explorer. Uh huh. They ain't exploring no more. They were trying to figure out ways on how they can hinder a light worker or actual Empress energy. It's not funny no more. Everybody is being exposed. The friends, the families, whoever. They are being exposed as unbalanced, imbalanced. You feel overwhelmed. You're overindulged in some type of manipulation. Being in someone's energy. <clears> Thread with caution in life, folks. Thread with caution. And that woman you want to come to worse now to make atonement, apologize. They know the truth. That's a whole high priestess. They know the truth. What you going to come say? What are you going to say that she doesn't know? What are you going to say that she does not know? I don't think this woman wants any offers from you all. It's that you, you, you've you ran out of options now. So the only thing you can think of is to come in and give them money. They don't want no money from you. Someone wants to be left alone. I think that's what a lot of these high priestesses, is they just leave us alone so we can do our work in peace. We're just trying to fulfill our end of our, con like our contract with the universe. Leave us alone. But you want to be out here arguing. We don't want to argue with you. You're out here trying to steal, cause this harmony, heartbreak, sending heart spells and all kinds of spells to a whole empress energy so that they can pass away. Baby, they ain't passing away. This empress energy is always going to be out here content as always. Taking care of business. Balancing things out in life. Taking charge. Listen, I'm telling you. There's a woman out here that's desperate to put an end to the truth being exposed. This is a queen of wands. Maybe it's Melissa. You know that's what we call our karmic... On karmic female on here is Melissa. I got to find a name for the karmic male. Maybe we'll call him Bartholomew or something like that. But Melissa is out here pissed off trying to find a way to put an end to the truth being exposed. Put an end to the truth being spoken. I'm telling you. Then I tell you they want to come in and fight. There's there, there are two energies in here. There is somebody that wants to come in and fight, and there's somebody that's coming in to try and balance something out. They were going to send you some type of communication. They ain't going to be sending nothing, okay? But I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to expose the rest. But they're going to, they're going to make sure that something is balanced out because he knows the truth now. I'm telling you, this man knows the truth. He knows the truth about what this karmic group has been doing when it comes to what? You being in the spotlight, your work, you being seen, the truth, everything. Trying to paint you out as someone's ne someone negative. They said, oh, 
whatever she does, it just does not grow because she's not blessed. She's not a true empress. Empresses are abundant. Whole time they're tempering with someone's work, someone's energy to make them appear in this energy. But this is them the whole time and their ancestors are protecting them. Trying to make sure they stay balanced. Make the right decisions in life and stay in the upright. And this has pe these people bothered, confused. So they uh... That was a lot of energy we've been sending these people. Why aren't they confused? Why aren't they angry? Why aren't they bothered? And they said, oh, our ancestors said, that's for us to know and for you to find out. Look at your futures, the whole group. There's your future. This conflict is, baby, I'm, I'm done. I can't. It's a group of friends, by the way, you are about to lose your jobs. All the the options you had to manipulate, you're about to be set free from all of those. You don't got no more options. But you're all about to lose your jobs. There's a higher level soulmate, twin flame, whoever this is, is going to be balancing things out in his life and taking the proper um, actions, right, to move on with his life. I don't know if a woman has been trying to hold on to him for her dear life. Baby, he, he, he's gone. He's gone. He said, I'm gone with the wind, but like, <laughs> let me check my goofiness. I'm not about to be out here being goofy today. <laughs> Whoo. Let's put that in check. <clears throat> my check, my check, one, two, one, two. It's in check. Here, <laughs> here, return of the mic, please. I got to be serious with this one. That man said he's free himself from that karmic relationship. He wants to be happy. No more toxicity. He wants to be with someone genuine in the upright. Someone hardworking. Someone actually positive, courageous, intelligent. Uh, someone wholesome. Not this pretentious mess that he's been stuck in with a whole woman pretending to be in the upright. But she is out here with options. Men and women. Men and women. Talking about she's an empress, but the whole time she's lying and causing endings for her partner. Baby, this marriage is over. I don't know what you want me to tell you, sir. It's over. Ma'am, I don't know what you want me to tell you. If you're watching, the marriage is over. The relationship is over. There's a divorce proceeding going on. Yeah, yeah. And just know, <laughs> you're about to be out in the cold. You, the family, the friends, everybody you got involved, this is about to be them living in fear because it's... Union is coming together. Oh, it's coming together. It is coming together. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> sure. So she's out here independent and the queen of cups, baby. She, yeah. Really? Dang. Sister got it together. So she's. She's not full of herself. She's humble with it. And she's genuine, nurturing, and kind. That man said, I'll take one of her for, for five, five million, please. He's gone. He says, it's the end of the road. It's a queen of cups that's about to go through a tower. Queen of cups reverse. You're about to go through a tower. Baby, I ain't telling you what you're about to go through, but it's about to be real sticky for you. It's going to be a hard knock life for you. You're about to be burning and way down, losing sleep, restless. All your secrets are about to be exposed. I, just, I said exposed and the car fell down. And the actual queen of cups you've been trying to destroy, baby. Living in their truth, still going forward, moving forward, and you're gonna be out here burdened because they're receiving a commitment. Baby, just know <laughs> you're gonna they're gonna be receiving their commit commitment while you're watching. Out here in distress, stuck in your mind, because you know this is a love that's genuine and it will be fulfilling. It is something that's gonna balance these people out and help them take a new path in life that's gonna lead to abundance. <laughs> balance karma good karma for them good karma yeah yeah you you all do too much too much too much it's a how she make it through all this stuff we've been doing no one should have made it through that she's not human he's not human 
So then why are you still coming after them if you said they're not human? Why are you coming after them? But sir, either that was you that came in my dream state or your wife set it up in a way where she wanted me to know that she was a traditional woman only for you to walk in and find her doing her thing thing. I said, God dang, just like that. Just like she likes to have options. And they're all low vibrational just like her. Just like her. Just like her. Mm -mm. I can't. Mm. Yes, yeah, sir. You may have be having some new romance in your life. We have the moon out here, the crescent moon. There, there could be some type of new romance you're about to start. We don't know who it's going to be with. Or this could be for someone in the collective. <laughs> Oh, baby, <laughs> that woman said, over my dead body, he's going to see me as so empress. I am the empress. I'll show him. I'll show her I'm the empress. Those mermans and mermaids said, mm-mm, she ain't. <laughs> they played her whole life out for me in the dream. They said, this is what she be doing behind the scenes. She be into everything. This big old bad here, she just be letting everybody in. <laughs> anyways folks thank you for watching stay blessed i'll see you in the next read goodbye for now